you do have discretion whatsoever before parliament to choose, to pick and choose what document to tender. We will foreclose you if you cannot tender all your documents and move the call in the next Thank you very much. All right. Um, no, but come on, sir. <laughs> you see the reason why I used to tender everything that now the good part I have means that it's not here. You see the point? I know why I did that. You understand? Because if she is concluding that she was sounding as if she's Bobisky's lawyer, say Bobisky has said it's here. You see one video? You understand? So this is why I will not deny it. When she was sitting in that. Again, the security agency is not here. The person does not respect this house. Yeah. That's what he's saying. But, well, number two, number two, I'm going to call the computers. I'm not just echoing what we have discussed. Number two, number two, he's saying that he has not said he's not going to speak. At least we came prepared, we came with almost everything that is needed by this committee here. We have even come with additional evidence that is not even available online. We have come with everything. So he's, he's not saying, I don't want to assist the committee, I don't want to talk. He's saying because that person, who should be here, who is not here, who has taken a lawyer to present, uh, he, he or she, that, <laughs> that he is not going to talk directly, that he's going to talk to his counsel. That's just all he's saying, and nothing more. In addition, uh, I would like to say, the man from my face, he said, uh, I don't speak, you will not read the if you support the video, send your gift. Oh, more. <laughs> Didier has refused to speak. He said if he can speak. Did I posted online? I explained everything for the people that saw the video. It was well detailed and well explained. Um, how I got hold of that um, recording is as a result of a risky blackmailing somebody he owes money. So, according to the story and according to the evidence that a proof of chat that was sent to me, um, the person borrowed for risky 4 million naira when Bobrisky was in the EFCC detention, or rather, in the private apartment lodge. Um, the person gave him the money on the... Sorry, excuse me. On the 19th, 6, 2024, the person gave him the money, $4 million. Era. It was transferred to this account number, 0496411279. Abiola Okunaya, and as you know, Obrisky's name is Okunaya. So I'm proudly, ah, Kuda. 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 <laughs> so, um, apparently, it's his brother's account. So, when it was time to get the money back, According to the story the guy told me and the evidence I saw, he told Bob Risky he needed to, he wanted that money to complete his build in Lagos. So that was why I borrowed him the money. So it's now time to pay. From the receipt I have here, he sent him a message. Bob Risky refused to respond. Sent him another one after like a few days. Bob Risky also refused to respond. When Bob Risky eventually responded, Bob Risky said, um, I'm going to give you the money in, I think, September. So September 1st, the guy reached out to Bobrisky again, Bobrisky refused. And the next thing that followed is was blackmail. He said, um, I will tell them that you are smooshing me and you are kissing me. So the guy felt very, very somehow because he felt like he was not going to get his money. God so kind, there's very dark man that has the platform to call out the people that owes money and they pay. So, a friend of mine who is very popular contacted me and he said, Video, see what's going on. And I said, Okay, no problem. If you have received, send it. Then, um, when he sent it, now I'll say something here. When he sent it, 
So immediately I made a video, my first video, and I said, well, Risky, I'm giving you four hours to pay back. Then he started begging the guy. Now, what I'm going to say that my lawyer does not even know. Now, he started begging the guy. Then he paid. He made it. He paid. But when I listened to the audio, I said, nah, even though you pay, this has to go the out there, man. Eh? Because ELCC cannot go around harassing some boys, young boys, and somebody with a godfather will be pulling stunts. I was detained in the prison. My very good friend, Sean Kuzi, was detained as well. A lot of boys are inside the prison. But this is not any way better than them. So I didn't see any reason why I should keep the audio. I kept the receipt of his payment, which he paid that day. He paid that day. So immediately I got it, which was on the... On Tuesday, September 24th, on Tuesday, just few, six days ago, I think. Then, um, the charts acknowledging when he wants to, when he was disturbing the guy that he wants to refund immediately after he saw my video. And then, um, yes, the charts. And the charts where he blackmailed the guy. Yeah, the particular place where he blackmailed the guy. Um, the chart also asked him for the money. As a reminder, we would like to read one part for September 4th. He said, Dear Bobisky, this is a reminder for the return of the loan amount of 4 million naira as agreed. The due date for the return is September 1st. Mind you, this September 1st, it was Bobisky that gave him the date. Then he said, Kindly use the attachment account details to send the refund. Then he sent his account number. So because he didn't get it, he came to me. So I will read the part of the blackmail that made him. Because, yes, I would like to verify that the guy said it's not gay. I don't know, I don't live with him, but he has kids. So he said it's not gay. Okay, so this part, um, after requesting... Sorry. So this part, the guy was not saying things like, I helped him when he needed help. When it's time to pay me, man, you have to chasing me, this is not fair. I will you pay me like this? Then Bobuski went on to say, when you kiss me and smooch me, will you give me any money? Are you mad? Your visit to Nigeria that you kissed me in Lagos, did you give me anything? I didn't ask you for money. No, because I am fucking okay. If not EFCC, you think I'm going to ask you for money? Does that mean it's because of EFCC? Is that different? I know. Uh, if not EFCC, um, do you think I'm going to ask you for money? You are typing all this message to someone help you post flyers without collecting collecting anything from him. Wow. Go ahead and call me out. I will respond to you on IG. You know I am shameless and I don't care. You will get your money, I have your account. I don't want to look like someone that is ungrateful. But threatening me that you give me 24 hours is the height of it. I am waiting for you to post or call me out. So apparently the guy told him he was going to tell me. So these are the evidence I'm going to present for now. And additionally, after this, there's a second one and there's a third one. It don't happen. So, BDM showed up for court, but for some reason, Bob Brisky was nowhere to be found. You also have EFCC, you have the interior, uh, you have the House of Representatives that were there, and BDM also brought his uh, lawyer there. The prison also sent away there, and the question we say, where Bob Brisky day? But Brisky was nowhere to be found. What surprised me watching the entire hearing was that the House of Rep members, some of them, were threatening BDM and saying that he need to drop the evidence with them. So this is like evidence tampering. And uh, BDM, I mean, I just respect the guy more and more and more. He stood his ground and said, no, I'm not giving you my evidence. But Brisky is not here. He needs to be here so that he can admit whether it's true or not. After all, in talks in our AI generate this thing. It's sad because for Niger, poor man no get chance. Poor man no get chance at all. Especially when it comes to police or prison or, or any kind of thing like that. Poor man no get chance. But rich man, and person we get money, is allowed to go free without anything happening. This is not something we don't know. This is not something new. And there are still lots of questions. Like me now, I the one that say, why EFCC, they investigate EFCC? Because EFCC, the person we come for EFCC talk, say, as far as they concern, no, say they need to investigate to get to the bottom and see the investigate if you look at the history of Nigeria, so 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 we they investigate and out of this investigation nothing they happen nothing come out of them 
Till tomorrow, we see the investigate they go. Even with a lot of things that happened in our history, now investigation, now for that investigation, the thing take die. For example, uh, Delegiwa investigation, Kudra Tabiola investigation, Afonso uh, Williams investigation, uh, Oputa panel, I don't know if I remember Oputa panel, now so to the investigate, nothing come out. M. Kabiola's death was investigated. They just they investigate left and right. And on top of the investigation, nothing will happen. Because no person with the car is something about they still have to let them go. In each of these cases, they found somebody for the most part and nothing happened. Nigeria is a place where you can buy your way and you can just, uh, you can bribe, bribe, bribe. Now the thing we all know be that. Now the thing we all know be that. Even though say, we, House of Rev, where did they call or send it, say, many people come. Those members, we did there, some of them, EFCC have investigated them before. And upon all, they still win election and com campaign. Unlike other parts of the world, we say, if they hammer you, forget me, your career don't finish. In fact, the constitution of such countries said that if you are a felon, if you get criminal, criminal records, some of them, you know, if you run for public office. You know, this everything happened for Trump. When they won't impeach him, the Senate did not convict him because he was convicted. That was his last chance. He will not be able to run again. So he had to somehow make a deal so that they did not convict him. Because when you're a convicted felon or a convicted criminal, you cannot hold public office to serve people. Now, only for Nigeria, we say you hold public office, you still end up uh, being assaulted for corruption. Being assaulted for, even if you are arrested for corruption and convicted, you come back again, you campaign, you win again. <laughs> and I say as that in the work, uh, an example is uh, Alison Madrike Deziani. She was Minister of Transportation. She's supposed to do Lagos Benin or Lagos Edo Road or some kind of road we're supposed to do. He chop all the money. They investigate him. They let him go. After that, he get appointed to Minister of Petroleum. So Nigeria is just another funny place. We we'll say the issue of investigation just means forget about it. There's nothing that will happen. And uh, it is not very surprising. An example is uh, the um, uh, Jagaban, our dear president. Now the second time when they announce now saying he want to reshuffle. If you want to reshuffle, why you go announce? You know, when you announce, the person you announce, the person go behave right, or the person go bribe, you go call in Godfather, and then Godfather go talk to you. So you no go sack him anymore. Like the one we no act. Naim, Naim, you go end up sacking. So serious countries, they don't make announcements, say I won't sack person. They just sack the person. Maybe you go there on Twitter, you go here. Or if it they function self from that public function, you go here and say they don't sack you. So this idea of investigation and giving notice, for the corrupt people to be able to fix their way or buy their way or find favoritism in to be able to get their way is something that has to stop. And this case of VDM is exposing a lot of them. Now, EFCC said that they investigate, but why EFCC they investigate EFCC? One other person no investigator, uh, the interior, Minister of Interior, the prison department will say, them to they go carry their own investigation. Why prison they investigate prison? And also, why Bob Risky no day here? I don't understand. But risk could be saying talk say in one in one super person. At least suppose can answer. Because those house of rep represent all of the Nigerians, they represent we the people. So it's kind of a contempt. Yeah, it's called contempt. And that stuff defeats in other serious countries. If they call you no come more, uh, they go hammer you with difference too. Because the legislature is like the court. Because they are legislatures, they make laws. So you know hear them, I mean, you know answer them. You get some liver, or your godfather strong well well. Now you go see make court call you, make you no come, or make house of reps call you, make you no come. The thing we me no like, we say these people, uh, house of reps, we're trying to force the evidence out of VDM. Why? Why now one making spill the beans? Why now one making a tell now it's in the hub? Why? So this matter, I don't know, it's just going to the next level and next level. I uh, beg, uh, uh, let us uh, pray for VDM and hope that uh, Baba God will protect. I like the guy, Baba, I will angle of come, carry Juju enter, or day she, nothing they happen. Uh, Alright, thank you guys. Catch you on the next live. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye now. Bata, bata. Bata, bata. Bata. Box.